Okay, so this one first. Me. I did it because a lot of a lot of the tattoos that I do are <clears throat> really depressing and like sad. Usually when I'm like in a bad period, I get loads of sad tattoos and then I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was just like, Jesus, I have so many sad, depressing like uh, messages all over my body. So I decided to do something positive um, to remind myself that uh, loving yourself is good and important, even if it sounds so cliche. Okay, next one is... Uh, oh yeah, here. This is one of my favorite tattoos. I, I got it after um, I broke up with my ex-boyfriend and I was really sad and I just felt like my heart was very broken the whole time because I'm very like, I can be very self-destructive so I just decided to, you know, wear it <laughs> like a, yeah. I don't know why. It's stupid, really, but that's why I did it. Chronic broken heart. <laughs> and the next one is the little butterfly here. I have, I think I have like six butterfly tattoos. Uh, but this one's my favorite. My tattoo artist, Natasha, gave it to me as a birthday present because she knows how much I like butterflies. I actually have like um, framed like dead butterflies in my flat, and like butterfly um, bookcase. Um, I just like butterflies. This is um, my rocket tattoo, which is um, kind of just kind of become like a little symbol, I guess, for my music. And a lot of my fans in Sweden have had the rocket done, and like some of my bandmates have. And um, it's actually funny. It's a funny story because my sister's boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, who was an asshole, he had the rocket tattoo did, and I just liked how it looked. I thought it sort of looked really cool, so I, I got the same one. I like ripped it off, and now I, now it's like my thing. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. <laughs>